Welcome to Dr. Zahir Math YouTube channel. Today we are diving into GSMA 101 Calculus 1. I'll be working on problems from section 2.1 Introduction to Limits. Let's get started. The first one is find the limit if it exists. Limit x tends to 100. Okay, 7. If you see the limit, limit x tends to 107. Notice that there is no variable in the expression. It's just a constant. So the value of the limit will be always the same as the constant itself. In this case, the answer is simply 7. So in short, we can say that if there is no variable in the question, the constant itself your answer. Constant means what? This is the constant. So the constant will be your answer. This is your answer. Okay. So therefore, the answer for this question is limit x tends to 100, 7 is equal to 7. The reason is what? There is no variable. Let's go to the next question. Find the limit if it exists. Limit x tends to minus 1, x plus 4 over 2x plus 1. First, what I told in the class? Take your calculator, fx991 ES plus calculator. Just put this one in the calculator in this model. Just type your equation, x plus 4 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to put it here in the calculator. This is x plus 4. You know where is x? Alpha x. And here it is 2x plus 1. After that, you press the button calc. If you press the button calc, the question will come in the calculator, x equals question mark. What is your x value here? Your x value is minus 1. So you put x is equal to minus 1 in the calculator. Then press equal sign. If the calculator gives the answer, okay, then directly you can substitute the limit value in the question. If the calculator gives math error, again I'm telling, if the calculator gives math error, okay, then you have to do simplification. You have to do the simplification. Keep in your mind. Once again, I'm telling, if the calculator gives math error, you are going to simplify the given equation. Otherwise, directly you can substitute the limit value. Okay. So I just put this in, in the calculator and I'm not getting math error. I'm getting the answer minus 3. So therefore, I'm directly going for the limit substitution. Minus 1 plus 4 divided by 2 times minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to minus 1 plus 4. You can also put it in the calculator or you can simplify with your hand. So which is equal to plus 3 divided by minus 2 plus 1, which is going to become what? It is minus 1. So which is going to become minus 3 is your answer. Right. Let's go to the next question. Find the limit if it exists. Limit x tends to 2. x power 2 minus 4 over x minus 2. The same way what you need to do. Take your calculator. Just press this button. Okay. Numerator divided by denominator. Or you can say fraction mode. Okay. So type your equation here. x square minus 4. And type your equation. It is x minus 2. Once you finish this. Press the button calc. Okay. If you press the button calc, the question will be x equals what? So you need to put the limit value which is equal to 2. When you put the limit value x equals 2, automatically the question gives math error. The question gives what? The calculator gives math error. Okay, right. Once it is math error, then what we need to do? We need to do the simplification. Let's start now. Limit x tends to 2 x power 2 minus 4 divided by x minus 2. So this is equal to, I taught today in the class about this one, a power 2 minus b power 2, right? So let me write the rule here, a power 2 minus b power 2 is equal to a minus b and a plus b, okay? Right, so x square minus 4 square, which can be written as x square by 2 square, which is equal to x minus 2 and then x plus 2 right okay so let me start here so this will be x plus 2 and x minus 2 or you can write x minus 2 x plus 2 both are same so let me write first x minus 2 that will be easy for you so it is x minus 2 and x plus 2 over x minus 2 is it okay right 
So if you look at the numerator and denominator, numerator means the terms which is on up, which is we call it as top and the bottom. Okay, right. So x minus 2, x minus 2 gets cancelled. So you are going to get x plus 2. Now what we are going to do, we are going to substitute the limits. Okay, x tends to 2. That is the limit we are going to substitute. When you substitute this one, put x is equal to 2. So it's going to become 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. Clear? Right. Now let's go to the next question. Given f of x equals 2x power 2 minus 5x plus 2 over 5x power 2 minus 7x minus 6. Find limit x tends to f of x. It means the question is limit x tends to 2, 2x square. This is your f of x minus 5x plus 2 over 5x square minus 7x minus 6. What I told you, take your calculator and press this fraction mode, okay. Type the numerator expression here and type the denominator expression here. Once you type, press the button calc. So once you press the button calc, the calculator will show you x equals what. What you need to do, you need to press x equals 2. If you put x equals 2 and then press equal sign, you will get math error, okay. For this question, I am getting math error. So once you are getting math error, immediately what you need to do, you need to do the simplification. Okay, clear, right. So now if you look at this numerator and denominator, the numerator also looks like a quadratic equation and denominator also looks like a quadratic equations. So what we need to do, we need to go to the calculator and we need to put this equation 2x square minus 5x plus 2 to solve and get the answer solution. So in this situation, what we need to do, you go to the calculator, press mode, okay. After that, press number 5, which is equation, and then press 3, okay. Let me write again, mode, okay, 5 and then 3, 5 and then 3. If you press this one, you can see A, B, C, okay. So A, B, C, you can see in the calculator. Your a is the coefficient of x square which is 2. Your b is the coefficient of x which is minus 5. And c is the coefficient of 2. Okay. And then press equal sign. Let me do it. 2 minus 5 and then 2. Okay. Right. If you press it, you will get the answer 2 and you will get 1 by 2. So you will get x equals 2. Okay. And you will get x equals 1 over 2 right so this is called solution what do you call this one this is called solution so what we need to do we need to write in the factors model so if x equals 2 then the factor will be x minus 2 if x equals half then the factor will be come from down which is 2x and there is a plus here so you need to put minus 1 here so the factor for the numerator is x minus 2 times 2x minus 1 let's go to the denominator the denominator you have 5x square minus 7x minus 6 the same way you are going to do it in the calculator so just press 5 equal minus 7 equal and then minus 6 equal if you press this one you will get the answer for the denominator which is a b c you are going to put 5 and you are going to put minus 7 and you are minus 6 which is going to become in my calculator I got it x equals 2 and x equals minus 3 over 5 x equals minus 3 over 5 okay right so this is called what this is called solutions right now we need to write in the factor model what is the factor model which is x minus 2 because we have a plus here and this one you have to start from the denominator which is down right so which is 5x here you have a plus, so you need to put plus 3, okay. So what happened to our equations, okay, right. Our equation is limit, right, x tends to, uh, what is the number, x tends to 2, right. Limit x tends to 2, okay, 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 over 5x squared minus 7x minus 6. This is going to become, the first one is this one and the down one is this one. So which is going to become x minus 2 and then 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 and then 5x plus 3. 
So if you see this expression, x minus 2, x minus 2, you can see on the numerator and denominator. So I get, it gets cancelled. So what happens to the equations now? Which is 2x minus 1 divided by 5x plus 3. So what we are going to do? We are going to put limit x tends to 2. We are going to put what? Limit x tends to 2. So when I put limit x tends to 2, so you will get 2 times 2 minus 1 divided by 5 times 2 plus 3 which is equal to 2 twos are 4, 4 minus 1 which is going to become 3 and divided by 5 times 2 which is going to become 10 plus 3 which is equal to 13. Right? So the answer is going to become 3 divided by 13. Okay. Now my question is, now your discussion. Teacher, I am getting math error in the calculator. How can I check? How can I check? Right? How can I check the answer is correct? How can I get the limits? For this, I'll tell you one thing. So for this question, so your answer is getting math error, right? Limit x tends to 2, right? The same equation, you type it. 2x square minus 5x plus 2. Okay, let me type. Let me clear the mode. Shift 9, 3 equals. Okay, right. So I just type the fraction mode. Okay, 2 alpha x power 2, right? And then minus 5 alpha x, okay, plus 2 and then over... 5 alpha x square okay minus 7 alpha x okay minus 6 you press the mode calculate that's calc button okay so they are saying x tends to 2 but i said already it's going to 2 but it's not exactly equal to 2 just put the value in the calculator 1.9999 something you can say 1.9999999 which is nearer to 2 just press the equal sign. If you press the equal sign, automatically you are getting the value 0 0.230769 okay, which is approximately equal to. And check this one in the calculator. What is your 3 divided by 13 in the decimal mode? 3 divided by 13 is also equal to 0 0.23076 which is going to be the same answer. So you can check the answers in the calculator by putting the nearer value to the limits, not the exact value. If you put the exact value, you will get math error. If you get math error, you need to do the simplification. Okay. If you are not getting math error, directly you put the limits and write your answer automatically. But everything you need to do steps, but only checking is using calculator. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.